Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how we set up a WhatsApp AI agent for an Airbnb company. So we can trigger this over here and we can go over to this agent and ask it, what is the Wi-Fi password? And it should trigger this AI agent, as you can see, it's running through now and it's going to respond back to us over here. The Wi-Fi password is the Pearl District. Now I'm gonna say, um, what time do I have to check out? It is going to again go through the database. It's going to find the details about this person and how long they're staying for. And then it's going to output the checkout times. And as you can see here, checkout is at 11 a.m. Here's your quick checkout list. Gives them a list. Now, let's say this person wants to find out, you know, what's the best restaurant or is there any maybe football stadiums close by? We're going to come over here and we're going to ask the AI agent what is the best restaurant in town. Now, it's going to go through here again, except this time it's going to use this tool over here, which is perplexity and it has access to all of the web. It's going to search the web to find the best restaurant within the area of this Airbnb. And then it's going to respond back to the user with all the best restaurants in that area. So you can see it responds back here with Portland has several amazing top restaurants. We have Le Pigeon, we have Clark Lewis, Portland Grill, Chart House. It said, would you like me to help you choose between these and get specific details on any of them? We're going to say, yes, can you get me the location of Le Pigeon? Now that we've asked for location, it's going to go and find the location again with this perplexity tool. And then it's going to send us over a direct location to this place. Okay, so after we've asked for the location to this place, it sends us a pin on the map directly to the restaurant. It also says, perfect, I've just see, sent you the map pin for Le Pigeon. It's located on 738E Burnside Street. And they're also known for classic tasty menus, whatever. So if we click in here now, in which it takes us directly to the restaurant, as you can see here, if we zoom in, this restaurant is Le Pigeon. So that's exactly what we're gonna build in this video. And to start off by building it, we are gonna come over here to NA10 and build out this workflow. So the first thing we need to do is come over here and press and add a new node. And as you can see over here, we have a WhatsApp trigger and you're gonna get that by coming up here, searching up WhatsApp Business Cloud and clicking here. And we are going to use one of the triggers and it's going to be on messages. And this basically just means whenever we receive a new message, then trigger the workflow. Now you can see I've already built it up here, but I'm gonna build it down here again, just so you know exactly how to build this. So in here, you're gonna to have to first connect up your WhatsApp account. So you'll do that by coming in here and pressing create new credential, and you'll have to go through this process of connecting up your client ID and client secret. I've done this in multiple videos, so I'm gonna leave one up in the top right of this video to show you exactly how to do this. Or you can just come in here and click NA10, and it's going to give you all of the directions on exactly how to set this up step by step. It's gonna make this video too long if I go through that, so just follow either the video in the top right or follow these NA10 instructions over here. After you create that connection, then we're fine. The next thing we need to do is come over here and press AI agent. We're gonna select this AI agent, and this is where we're gonna do the base or most of the work for this. So we're gonna change this from um, chat trigger to define below. And in here is where we're going to put the user's message. So after we have this connected up and it's it's correct, we need to test if it's working. Okay, so to see if this is working, I'm going to execute this workflow to see if a connection has been made. And then I'm gonna come over here to WhatsApp and I'm gonna say, hello there. And if we send that, then over here, we should receive the message. And as you can see in here, we receive the exact message. If we click in here, we see we receive the message. And then down here in the text and body, you can see we have hello there. So that's a main variable that we're looking for in this uh, in this workflow is what the user is actually saying. So we're gonna connect that to the AI agent that we just made. And in this AI agent, I'm gonna paste in the prompt that I used above. So I'm gonna come down here and select add option, system message, and I'm gonna get rid of this and paste in this new system message. Now I'll go through the system message so we know exactly what's happening over here. In the system message, I say, you are the Pearl District Loft AI Concierge, an intelligent WhatsApp assistant helping guests stay, helping guests staying at a modern two bedroom apartment in downtown Portland, Oregon. Uh, your purpose is to make each guest stay effortless, handle all communication, answer questions, give directions and escalate issues when needed. So now over here we say, this is the data that you have access to. And we say you have access to a Google Sheet with the person's name, phone number, the start date, and the end date. We say every time you receive a message, 
look up the sender's phone number or name in the sheet, identify their stay status. If they are current status, then today is between start and end date. If they are upcoming guests, then obviously they haven't checked in yet. And if they are past guests, uh, you get the idea. Then over here, we say adjust permissions and tones. If they are current guests, then we give them full concierge help, property info, local suge suggestions, etc. If they're an upcoming guest, then we only do all of the pre-arrival info, no access codes yet. And if they are past or unknown, then politely limit responses, thank them and suggest contacting the owner. Now we give it some details about the property that they want to stay in, like the door access code, the entry lobby keypad, uh, the parking space that they have and the Wi-Fi password, etc. The check in and check out times, house rules, check out list. We have the amenities and the neighborhood highlights. Then down here, we give it access to the tools, which is probably the most important part of this prompt. It has the first tool being get local details. And this is the perplexity tool that was able to get the location of the restaurants, which I've shown you in the previous demo. And we say use this for restaurant, cafe, attraction, or activity recommendations. Examples, best brunch near Pearl District, Portland. We also have the second tool, which is a send location. And we use this tool whenever the guest explicitly asks for or clearly wants a map location. Uh, the steps is get the full name or the address, use the perplexity tool to retrieve its latitude and longitude, and then call the send location tool with latitude and the longitude of this place. Then over here, we have the notify owner and we use this immediately if there's a serious issue requiring the owner's attention like somebody gets locked out no power flooding etc and when you use this summarize the issue and send it over to the owner and then we give it some info on the conversation style now for this ai agent we need to give it a brain so i'm going to come down here and i'm going to search up open ai we're going to use open ai chat model and down here we can just use gpt5 mini or gpt5 nano i would probably recommend uh, gpt5 mini just because it's a little more accurate for what we're using it for I'm going to come in here, press GPT-5 mini, and then that's done. Next thing we need to do is we need to add memory. So it has access to the previous conversation that it's been having with this user. So I'm going to come down here, press memory and select simple memory. And then in here, we are going to change this from chat node to define below. And the key is going to be the person's WhatsApp ID, which we can pull over here. And we're just going to add a dash and put in conversation ID. Now this is going to pull whatever conversation it's been having with that user for every time they send a new message, we're going to get the previous conversation or the context to the conversation. So the AI agent knows how to handle stuff. Now, after we give it the conversation ID um, and it has access to the previous conversation, we need to create three tools and the three tools are going to be to get the guest stay. So the actual details about the guest when they are staying and when they're ending their stay, uh, we need to get the, we need to use this tool, which is going to send the location to the users for whenever we need to send them locations of restaurants, etc., And then we're gonna use this important tool, which is perplexity, and this can find out information about the local area. So firstly, let's do Google Sheets. So I'm gonna come in here, search up Google Sheets. I'm going to use this tool. And in this tool, we are going to press get roles. So it's gonna be a get roles tool. Now, down here, we need to select a document. So before we actually select a document, we need to come over here and create one. As you can see up here, mine is called Airbnb Management. And we just have four simple headers, which is name, phone, the start date, and the end date. And as you can see in here, we have the person's name, the phone number, the date that they will be staying, and the date that their end, um, that we will end their stay. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to select that what select that table, which is Airbnb management, and it's going to be in sheet one. And then down here, when we want to find that actual person that's staying in the house, we're going to add a filter. And we're going to use whenever their phone number equals the phone or the, the phone number they are sending messages from, which is just going to be their WhatsApp ID. Whenever that equals the one in the Google Sheet, then that's how we find information about their stay, their end date, their start date, etc. So now we're going to click save on that. We need to add another tool, which is going to be the tool for perplexity. So I'm going to add in perplexity tool in here. It's very simple. We're just going to let AI decide what to put in here and also also for the simplify the output we're going to let ai decide again and that's all we have to do for this tool now for the last tool we have is a send locations i'm going to click here i'm going to search up whatsapp business cloud tool and in here when we're sending a message back we need to come down here and select send 
and for the recipient's phone number again it's just going to be the person that's sending the messages so it's going to be the whatsapp id and for the message type we're going to select location and then for the longitude and latitude of the location that we want to send we're going to allow the ai to decide so the ai agent is going to decide from whatever perplexity gives us back that's how we're going to send them the location like i did giving them a pin in the demo at the start of this video now the last thing we need to do after we give it access to this we also actually need to put in the sender phone number id which is our id so i'm going to click expression i'm going to come over here and select this one over here which is phone number id i'm going to drop that in here and now it has access to whichever phone number we're sending the information from so i'm going to click save come out here and the last thing we need to do is come over here search a whatsapp and this is going to be how we're going to respond to all messages so i'm going to click send a message uh, in here we're going to select the phone number that we are sending from this will all come in automatically whenever you connect the whatsapp like i said at the start of this video so we're going to select this phone number that is on our whatsapp account the recipient's phone number is going to be the person that's sending the message. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is over here in the AI agent, we've given it this system prompt, but we actually need to give it the message as well that the user has sent over. So we're going to run this. I'm going to come over here, send another test message, which is hello there. And I'm going to send that over. We should receive that over here. And now you can see we received that message, which is hello there. I'm going to come over here to the AI agent and I'm going to put in the user's message here. So I'm going to say user's message and we are going to put in whatever they sent over. So it's their body here. We're going to drop that in here. And now it has the system prompt down here and the user's message up here. Now we can quickly run a test on this. So as we have this all connected up, I'm going to execute this workflow. I'm going to say, hey, what's the Wi-Fi code? You can see the AI agent is working now. And it's going to output a question for us. It had to check the Google Sheets role first to make sure that we are a user. Stored everything in the memory over here. And then it outputs a response. As we can see here, high value, the Wi-Fi password is perloft underscore 5G. So now we can connect this up here. And we can show the recipient's phone number, which we get from the WhatsApp trigger. Again, it's just going to be the WhatsApp ID. And then the text body. Is just going to be the output from the ai agent as we see up here come down here drop the output in and now we're ready to go now there's one last thing that we need to add and the tool is going to be a send email tool so we're going to come in here and we're going to look up email and we're going to select this one in here we're going to send an email whenever there is an issue so as we see up here in the system prompt we have access to a tool which is if we come down here to tools get location, send location, notify owner. So whenever we need to notify the owner, we need to use this tool for whenever there is an emergency or the user has been locked out, etc. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to give this tool a name, which is notify owner. And in this tool, we need to put in the owner's email address. So all of this is going to stay the same where tool description set automatically. The operation is to send and the information we're going to put in the owner's information the subject we're going to let the ai decide and the message we're going to let the ai decide so whatever the issue is the ai is going to use this notify owner to send over the information now with all of these tools that we've just added we also want to come up here to the ai agent and see what we have them named in the system prompt so if i come over here and i come down to the tools section again you can see we have the first tool name is get location details so that's what i'm going to name perplexity which is get location details we're going to save that and the second tool name is i think it's send location so we come down here look up for the second tool which is send location so that's what i'm going to name the send in the location tool so send location and for the google sheets tool i think we name it um i think we name it guest stays so you can see here we say data access is guest stays so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to come in here and i'm just going to paste that in here that's guest stays now we can save this and that is the full build completely finished in basically under 15 minutes we have a full ai agent that can work and that can be extremely useful to most airbnb companies so let's give this a quick test i'm going to make this active and when we make this active we don't have to continuously press execute workflow which i was doing at the start so we can come down here now and i can say 
hey there i'm having an emergency i am locked out i'm going to send that over now it's going to use my phone number over here in the google sheets it's going to find my name here and my phone number and it's going to realize that we are a current guest so it's going to know that obviously this person is actually locked out because they are a current guest and then it's going to send a message back over to me here using this node and it's also going to notify the owner so if we come over here to executions you can see it is currently running right now so it's doing all of the information and it should send us over a message in which it says i'm so sorry i've notified the owner sarah right now and asked her to reach out to you i've also texted her with the details in the meantime please try next steps try the lobby keypad with the door code it gives us the door code now you can see here the only reason it gives us the door code is because it was able to check google sheets and realize that we are actually staying in this house and if we weren't staying in the house then it wouldn't give us the door code now if we come over to my gmail account you can see it says urgent guest locked out folu unit 402 immediate assistant needed hi sarah urgent folu current stay from the from the 5th of the 11th to the 12th of the 11th reports they are locked out and unable to access the property guest message verbatim hey there i'm having an emergency i am locked out phone number on file is this location so it gives the owner all of the details about this person that has been locked out now what if this person was actually lying and they asked for information about a property that they weren't staying in so let's say i change this look this date in here to somewhere in the past like let's say the 2nd of november and their checkout was on monday so they are not a guest anymore if we come over to this ai agent and we execute this workflow again and i'm trying to get access to a property that i'm not actually staying in so let's say i say what is the code to the door if we send that over then the ai agent is going to work away it's going to come down here it's going to use the google stays to see if this person is actually staying and it should realize that the date that we have been staying in the property is in the past so it shouldn't actually send us the information on this property because we're not actually a tenant anymore so if we wait for the response over here you can see it says i can't share the door code because your your reservation has ended on november 3rd we can check over here and that is correct it has ended on november 3rd so you can see it's able to answer all of these questions it's able to do the vast majority of what uh, airbnb managers will do and they will typically do this with thousands of properties so if you're able to build an ai agent that can handle all of this for them then you've created something extremely valuable so if you like that video leave a like uh, leave a comment below what you want to see next and if you want to start your own ai agency then click the first link in the description where i'll show you exactly how you can set up your ai agency and how you can scale to over 100k per month like i did